Employee privacy rights come into play in a whole host of situations, and employers really need to know how to navigate those situations to avoid legal claims. One common mistake I see employers making and it comes with employee background checks. Uh, most employers are pretty good about complying with the Fair Credit Reporting Act at the beginning of the process. They give notice, they get consent, but at the end of the process, if they find information that they don't like and they want to not hire an applicant, they often forget that you need to do two things. You need to give a pre-adverse action letter and then an adverse action letter, and both of those letters need to contain information about employee rights and give applicants an opportunity to fix and correct information. Another common mistake uh, comes with drug testing. Uh, employers who have employees in a lot of different states need to make sure that they've got a testing policy in place that complies with the state law of the state where the employee is located. Uh, and a lot of employers don't do that. The third mistake I see comes with electronic monitoring. Um, most employers have policy language in place that gives them to the right to monitor, but then when they're doing the monitoring, they get a little bit too curious. They may get caught up reading personal emails because they're really juicy, but they don't really have anything to do with the reason for the monitoring in the first place, and that's a big no-no.